my fellow gamers welcome back to the series where we analyze two pro players and decide who's better but today we're going to be doing things a bit differently if you're cool with that instead of just two players we're going to be analyzing a couple of duos and we're going to put them against each other so the long lasting partnership of phase dubs and phase mega versus the newly formed but still deadly tfue and scope okay so they're gonna be five categories you guys ready we got mechanics come on now game sense team play the clutch factor and competitive results we're gonna score each duo one to ten pro guys points per section we're gonna tally things up and at the end we're gonna see which pair comes out on top both these duels have such a mismatch, you know, like of different skill types. So we thought it'd be interesting to compare them to each other. And with how well they've been doing so far lately, I have a feeling this matchup is going to be razor thin. All right, guys, so before the video begins, let us know your predictions on this matchup in the comments below. And also, if you're looking to improve, you can find tips and tricks on our channel. Go to ProGuys.com and you can find even more. So with the membership, you're going to get exclusive access to a variety of courses handcrafted by pros, all right? Also, you can play with top players anytime, any day. A bit of coaching can go a long way in helping you guys improve, trust me. So be sure to like the video, all right? Subscribe to the channel and then head on over to ProGuys.com to get started. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. So listen, before I even get started, I gotta pay homage. I gotta just do this for Kobe. Kobe Bryant, man. This guy left such a legacy just in the world today. He's inspired me to be the man that I am today. To be able to motivate you, I've gotten that motivation from him, the mama mentality. So I just wanna encourage you, man, to pick up the torch, to run with it, to encourage people, to be leaders, to be influencers, so we can change this world and leave a mark, man, one person at a time. I believe in you, all right? I do. Connect me on my new Instagram at your motivation guy once again at your motivation guy ladies and gentlemen it's about that time i need everybody to sit back relax and grab some of my favorite candy come on y'all need to scream this out with me it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going the first category today my friends is mechanical skill which of our duos here is uh, better at aiming building and editing all right Starting things off with Dubs and Mega, and wow, man, both of these players are absolute cracked out of their minds, bro. When it comes to building and editing, it's easy to see why this pair continues to dominate. Okay, so everything they do is just so quick, man, even the more complicated maneuvers. Like seeing Dubs do the Mongrel Classic, yo, I promise you, man, sometimes I think he does it faster than Mongrel does himself. And it's great because they build and edit in a way that's also surprisingly efficient. Hardly any time gets wasted, right? Probably why they're such good W keyers. They can get it in, man, overpower the enemies, and then end the fight without a hitch. In terms of aiming, okay, obviously both Dubs and Mega are completely insane. You've got to be to compete at their level. And even though they're both excellent, you know, I think the standout player right here is Dubs. You know, at times, his aiming abilities are just unreal, bro. Remember how everyone thought he cheated way back in the day? Come on now. That's just how nuts his aim is. You know, it seems almost robotic and not human-like, but it turns out that there's a real person behind all that skill. Now, Tifu and Scope. Okay, all things considered, neither of them are bad builders by any means, okay? They both can perform at a high level. No problem, right? However, okay, a couple of issues here. First, Tifu lacks the same speed that Dubs and Mega have. All right, let's get that out of the way. He's more methodical, right, with this building, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. All right, don't take it the wrong way. It even can be an advantage going slower. But his leisure building style does sometimes limit his overall capabilities. Second, okay, Scope's building is somewhat limited by playing on controller as well. It's not uncommon to see him whiff and edit or, you know, have to slow down every now and then, but that's just one of the restrictions controllers players have. And when it comes to aiming, though both players are top tier, we've talked about Tifu's aim a lot, all right? He's an FPS veteran with years of PC gaming under his belt. If you can remember back to Season X, remember that? Tifu's favorite landing spot was Meteor. Why? Because he knows how to beam the heck out of players, that's why. Same thing with Scoped. His shooting mechanics are straight up, yo, out of this world, all right? I'm sure the controller aim assist helps, but obviously, yo, like, that only plays a small part. The rest is all Scoped, my friends. So, all things considered, comparing overall building, editing, and aiming, okay, we're going to be giving this round to Dubs and Mega. Their mix of skills is a bit better overall, all right? So they get nine points. However, T4 and Sculpt, they're not really that far behind, so they're going to receive eight. 
All right, my friends, next category, let's look at Game Sense. You guys ready? Which of our duos does a better job at using their brains, not brawn, okay, to stay alive and win fights? So looking at Dubs and Mega, all right, I say most of their game knowledge really revolves around, you know, the realm of combat. So when it comes to fighting, these guys are masters, man, at reading their opponents and responding appropriately. You know, it's just part of the reason why they're so proficient at WK. Even if the enemy has an opening, they're gonna tend to predict it and prevent it from happening. Okay, for instance, like, check this out. If Dubs is attacking someone's wall, he's gonna position in an advantageous angle, right? Giving himself room to fall back and always stays ready for when players can potentially strike. And when it comes to, like, trap usage, Mega has some of the best, like, I've ever seen, all right? It's like he always knows when and where to place traps during combat. Like, how does he do that? If you can remember back to the World Cup, all right, Mega used a single trap to eliminate both Mongrel and Mitro. They were getting pushed, and Mega saw there was no floor piece. So with some insanely quick thinking, he puts a trap down, blocks them off, and then they make quick work of one of the scariest duos at the event. For him to react so quickly, man, in such a high-pressure situation, come on now. Like, that made that one of the best plays we ever saw that day. And on the other hand, all right, Tifu and Sculpt always seem to make exceptional decisions whenever we watch them play. Things like knowing the right time to disengage, or even where to rotate, and when to take the high ground. Their combat now Knowledge is exceedingly vast as well. But what they really excel at is knowing how to win games through smart decisions. And sometimes that's just more important than relying on raw mechanics, right? Especially in high-end dual scrims. So, you know, many fans see mechanical skill as Scope's strong suit, right? And while he's definitely not lacking in that category, I feel, personally, that most of us underestimate just how smart this dude plays. Like, he's got the ability to find kills that we do not see in many other players. As if he's tracking enemy positions flawlessly in his head or something, right? I don't know how he does it, it just really boggles my mind, I don't get it, but it's definitely a huge contributor to his and Tifu's recent success. And overall, man, when it comes to game sense as a whole, okay, we think Tifu and Scope have a slight lead here. So we're gonna give them eight points and Dubs and Mega are receiving seven. All right, so next up is arguably the most crucial aspect to look at in a duo, all right? And that is my friends, come on now, it's team play. How well does each pair here synergize, right? Communicate, you know, and, and how well do they actually really play off one another, which is so important. You know, Dubs and Mega have been playing together for a really long time, right? In terms of like Fortnite partnerships, they've stuck together longer than 90% of duels out there. And, you know, we think their long relationship has greatly boosted their chemistry, obviously, right? The more you play with someone, the more you're gonna play better with them. It's like they really don't even have to communicate anymore to know what's really going on. Their callouts are like really undescriptive at times, yet they still roll over everybody, as if there's one brain controlling two players. And you know, in most fights they take, you know, they approach in a near perfect fashion. Like they'll single out a target, they'll lock on, and then they'll pinch from opposite sides. I guess when you've done it hundreds of times, guys, there's really no hesitation and there's really no questions. They know precisely how to play it, man. Tifu and Scope, on the other hand, you know, it's a little different. You know, they've only been doing together for a little over a month now, yet their team play together ain't too shabby. They're not as coordinated as Dubs and Mega, I get it, and they rely a lot more, you know, on back and forth communication, but that's expected, obviously, for newer duos, right? So it takes a while to build synergy and they're just not entirely there yet. Their biggest weakness seems to be during the end game where, you know, in certain situations, they have different ideas on things like, you know, where to rotate or when to look for kills. And it often ends up with one of the players dying and the other forced to clutch up. Now, this category is kind of unfair because I get it. Dubs and Mega have been doing this, you know, like 10 times longer than t and Scoped. Still, you know, the latter pair isn't really that far behind. And we think, you know, with just a little bit more time together, they'll have no problem catching up. So, in the end, Dubs and Mega get nine points and Tifu and Scope receive seven. All right, guys, next up, ladies and gentlemen, man, one of my favorite ones is the clutch factor. Like, do you have heart? <laughs> Okay, so there's just something just so satisfying for me personally about watching pro players, you know, reverse sticky situations, and in the end, yo, they end up winning. Clutching takes incredible skill, guys, and really it takes mental endurance to really pull it off, especially when you're the last one alive in duos. So let's see who takes the cake on this one. Okay, so while Mega certainly has his moments, Dub stands out, though, you know, as the star clutcher on his team. I swear, guys, like nearly every single time he's faced with a tough scenario against all the odds, he'll somehow pull through. You know, and I just think it's his nerves of steel or something like that that just really help him clutch so often. You got to be mentally smart. You really do. 
He doesn't even seem to get anxious or even scared. He's like a robot. Like in this TwitchCon clip right here, and I mean like right here, he was the last one on his team alive with a bit over 10 players left and he played it like perfectly. He rode that high ground until the end and he peaked when he needed to. Then he made the smart decision to go for the hill off. Not many players are capable guys of like doing that in the heat of the moment. People freak out, people panic. I get it. I've been there a million times. You know, and even when watching him as a solo, you know, you think that the scenario is going to be unwinnable, right? But somehow, some way, he plays it by the book and he ends up clutching. Like from this World Cup game, do you guys remember watching this one? All right, I'm not going to lie. I thought this was the end for him. Going against an RPG on high ground is just so hard to beat. But no, look at this dude, man. Like once again, like he saw Riverside jump down, he made his move, took height, and he showed the world that he was the better pro. However, okay, we can't forget about Tifa and Scuff though, right? Both of these guys are the clutch masters. Who agrees with that? So when we were watching Tifu play the Winter Royale Live, he got this safe zone that couldn't be more against his favor. It was like the worst zone ever. But <laughs> with smart decision making, Tifu took control of high ground and he held it for a long time. Scope even died partway through and Tifu went up to pick four to even five kills by himself, as well as the W. Even though we've only been watching Scope for a really short while, he never ceases to surprise us with a clutch win, you know, like every now and then. Even though he doesn't work with Tifu as well as Dubs and Mega do, at least it gives him more opportunity to show his individual proudness. So while Dubs and Mega are really not that far behind, like we think that Tifu and Scope have slightly more of a clutch potential here, right? So we're gonna give them nine points and the FaZe Clan duo are receiving eight. Which brings us, ladies and gentlemen, to our final category competitive results because it's all about the results bro it really is obviously you know i could just sit here and talk about who's better at what but results at the end of the day my friends well they speak for themselves so let's take a peek at how our players have performed in tournaments all right so dubs and mega have like reliable results going all the way back to the scalawag cup Seriously though, like that was in March of last year, pretty much like a century <laughs> that has passed by compared to the average duo. Since then, they've qualified for the World Cup, all right, they've moved on to trios and squads, they played at TwitchCon, and most recently, the Winter Royale. They have a massive amount of earnings together, something Tifu and Scope honestly just can't really compete with. So we're gonna try not to hold it against the new duo, all right, because obviously they've only been together like a fraction of the time Devs and Mega have, I get it. So here's what we can do. Let's turn our attention to the most recent tournament, the Winter Royale. And man, what a surprise. Tifu and Scope managed to finish ninth place on day one and 16th on day three. Their day two placement really wasn't that good. So I think it was entirely outside of the money, so not the best showing they've had, okay? But those other two days are pretty dang on good, especially when you compare it to Dubs and Mega. They weren't able to place inside of the top 20 on any of the days. However, they did play in more regions, all right? And in terms of like overall consistency, they really weren't really that far off. So look, I get it. It's difficult to compare the two directly, Tifu and Scope showed insane potential together, even in their first event, while on the other hand, Dubs and Mega have a longer and more proven track record. All in all, my friends, all right, we're gonna give Dubs and Mega eight points, while Tifu and Scope, they picked up seven. All right, guys, so we've reached the final moment, but before we get into the results, I just wanna say that both of these duels consist of exceedingly skilled players. It wasn't easy, it really, really wasn't, deciding on scores, but you know, we just went with our initial instincts, all right? And in the end, Dubs and Mega total up to 41 points, while Tifu and Scope finish at 39, making Dubs and Mega the better duo by a tiny margin. It was so close, so close. You might disagree with this outcome, all right? I get it, all right? You're entitled to your own opinion. So please, if you do, let us know why in the comments, all right? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me at your motivation guy. I believe in you guys, keep going. Don't give up, don't surrender. Have that Mamba mentality, man. Never, never, never quit, all right? Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to use code Pro Guys to support all of our work, and thanks a ton. Though, you know, that's it for the comparison. We really hope you enjoyed watching these nutty players do their thing. And if you did, please give the video a like and drop a sub for more daily Fortnite content. And tell us, like, who you want to see next. We'll probably go back, you know, to comparing individual players. But who knows? You know, we might continue with duos. You never know. All right, guys. We'll see you soon.